Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> What is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Pathfinder with a very easy method on Scratch. So this is what we're going to be creating today. It finds its own path. And, yep, as you can see, it recorrects itself until it reaches the end. And this is not just gliding. It's not gliding and I didn't program it to glide and stuff. I'm just gonna get a, go into a new project real quick and then I'll show you how to make it. So first of all, what you want to do is make a square or a circle or whatever you want. I will make a circle. And remember, you can use this for um if you ever make any tower defense games you could use this for those methods it is super easy and so i have myself a blob and now we need to make a track for him so let me just get myself a track i don't know baby i'll make the background purple i honestly don't know what i should do for the background I'll make the background block. Convert it to bitmap and do that. And I'm gonna actually this time use the paintbrush tool. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna use the paintbrush tool and set it to like 60. And actually make this white. And I don't think 60 is enough. 60 isn't big enough. I'm gonna do like 90. And I'm gonna just make a little track for this guy. And center it. There we go. Now let me just test his size real quick. Seven, no, not 75. 50, okay, I am going with 50. Let's make sure he fits on, he does. He fits on the whole track. Now we need to start giving him a brain. Wait, wait, wait. So there's two methods of giving him a brain. The first method is a very, very easy method and you should not follow it. If you don't know what, okay. I'll give you like three seconds to guess. One, two, three. Okay, if you didn't guess, the first method is to actually start, is just, just to actually give him a brain. There we go, now he has a brain. So that is the end of this, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's not how you give him a brain. How you give him a brain is by programming him. And before we start um, actually coding, what you need to do is paint, um, well, first of all, duplicate this three times, on the first one and make sure it's the same exact color and you want to make something you want to make a square over there now duplicate this one copy it paste it and make a square right on the other side now you can delete these two to so have this square so what you should have is your guy or whatever object you're using in two squares around him or rectangles. So what you wanna do to start coding is do a one flag clicked and then put him at your starting position. For me, it is negative 221 and Y is 59. And then you wanna add, I'm gonna do set size to 50. Of course, it, this depends on your track and how big you drew your thing you're moving and then you want to add a forever and add a if touching color black 
then turn that way five degrees and duplicate that but do that for the other way and if you test this out he's not gonna move why because we didn't make him move you want it to move a little bit slowly so he doesn't and as you can see nothing is happening right now it's getting confused between these two and it's not turning at all so what you want to do here is switch the costume first of all to costume two and then switch it to costume three and then switch it to costume one now he should be following a little bit better and of course this is not perfect and I'm just gonna add a little bit of code right here that says if uh, touching edge, if touching edge, then go back to the beginning. And I think I might have started him. Okay, I didn't start it on the edge, but as you can see, it does work pretty well. And if you want it to work a little bit more better, let me just make him go to the start. Make sure to like, maybe move him a little bit up when you do start it. So let me just copy this coordinate right here and duplicate that. Okay. So now he will stay sort of in the center. But you can test this out with almost any track. As long as there's probably no loops. Like loop the loops because it might get confused on that. So I might I'm gonna design a big track for this guy. Let's just get rid of this old track. Use the paint tool. 90. I'm going to minimize all the way out. Okay, let's just test if it can do loop-the-loops. I have a lot of loop-the-loops for this guy. And I made this thing. Um, Like, actually a loop. Okay. No, that's not... I, I didn't put the correct starting position. Let's start him up here. Go, oh wait, and you should add a point in direction 90 at the beginning. It will help. Okay. Let's test. Oh. It will not handle that. Do not make your tracks so big and thick. Uh, I have, might have a better track for that. Boop, it goes up. Let's see if it can handle this. Hmm. It better handle this. Uh, okay. Let me just update that. Boop. Uh, where is it gonna? Okay, that, that worked pretty well i was not expecting that and it touched the edge so maybe get rid of this program and as you can see that honestly works really well in my opinion and you can mess around with the colors and stuff but it is getting stuck on the edge because that is my track's fault Uh, okay, I just made it a lot weirder and thinner. So, yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. So, peace out. Wait, what? Okay, peace out. See ya.